Hello and welcome to the show. I am back on Stuntman. Gonna be having a go at uh, some more of the career mode. Gonna see what's uh, the next. Oh, have I not done? Oh, okay, I think you have to load the game up in a slightly funny way, don't we? We have to select. That's the ticket. Uh, <laughs> slightly scared. I've broken everything. There we go. Right. We can uh, continue from there. nitro for this stunt. That's nitrous oxide. We inject it directly into the cylinders to increase horsepower. With the setup we're working on, we're looking to boost the HP from 375 to 525 to clear the jump. Basically, we're doing a Dukes of Hazard-esque uh, film. Oh, are, we just, are we just having to worry about a jump? I can... <laughs> I can do that. That's relatively straightforward, really. We drive forwards, hit the nitro button, and fire the car off a ramp. That's just not too hard. I'm suspecting we will have to be doing this more. This movie's about bootleggers, moonshine, the county sheriff, and the innocent Basco boys. This is the part where Hainus' moonshine is in the drains and starts exploding all over town. There's a bunch of pyrotechnics here, so timing is critical, especially when the chimneys start coming down. I need to hit the nitro button exactly at the right moment to make the last jump. Yeah, so we are we are we are not just doing the jump itself, we're doing all of the the, the thing. I love how they're gonna be some judging from that, there's gonna be some great big sort of building collapses and so on. And if we fail, we're gonna have to restart, so they're gonna have to repair the buildings every time, I'm gonna guess. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, let's uh let's not fail too much. That'll uh, give them a give him a lot of work. Right. How horribly nasty it is very much uh, Dukes of Hazzard this way. It's quite cool that uh, the films are uh, kind of uh, along the uh, the lines of uh, various stuff. Right. Well, the first thing is going to be a crash into. I can do a. I can do a crash into. I hope. Oh, crashing. Oh, that ah, that bit of fence. <laughs> so. Some of the fence is destructible, some of the fence isn't. Chimbley! Ah, okay, so it's not going to be boxes this time, it's going to be chimneys. They're going to be our uh, uh, <laughs> destruction thing. Oh, please, please let this make the, the, the final cut, essentially. That would be fantastic. Oh, there's a gap, there's a gap. Oh, crap! Oh, we didn't make it! We did not make it through the trains. No, don't lie, we made it through the trains. We're still going. I don't know what we're going through. Ah! Of course, there's all of that. Oh, <laughs> ran out of time. <laughs> there's all of that possible area we could go, but the burning shed is most definitely the best thing to be driving through. Right. Okay. So we have learnt that fences are only destructible in very small segments. Trains are nasty, and that we should hit anything that's burning. That sounds like perfectly logical reasoning for any good pursuit driver. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Right, let's see if we can do better this right time. Right, that was handbrake. I'm just remembering my remembering my buttons. Right, that the there jump. is the destructible. Chimney. Not the most spectacular way of doing things, I know. But, oh crap, we're gonna miss the chimney. Ah, the chimney survived. God damn it, that's disappointing. Uh, we don't have any boxes to destroy, so we will have to make do with fences. Uh, oh, and chimneys. Okay, this might be a little bit more. Oh, okay, that's better. We're not trying to jump through the. Admittedly, I reckon the jump through like the, the middle container bits is far more spectacular. I should have gone for that one. Uh, oh crap! Now we are. Uh, speed! Oh no. <laughs> well, that one then might not have worked quite so well. Um. Oops. Never mind. We, we're still good. Apparently, we're, we're going back this way again. Why are we going around the big? Circle. I'm, I don't even know which way. I'm, where am I going anymore? You've completely and utterly neglected to tell me. Where? Ah, that's where we're driving now. Oh, that's a solid. Oh dear, we're gonna fail this one. Uh, why are we going to the circle so badly? Um. Okay. Yeah, we failed that one. They're completely, 
Right, I know where I'm going now. At least, uh, hopefully, I'm learning. Say I'm learning, we'll probably still manage to fail. That one there was really, really kind to me on time. Considering I smacked the train, I was kind of half expecting it to just fail. Um, I smacked the train and got going again, so... Take maybe three. it might be worth not going for the jump through for that, that secondary RC jump. Although, if I can be quicker, then I guess it probably won't be a problem because I'll be lined up uh, nicer for it. Hello, truck. Oh, come on now. Okay. Turn. A little bit of a, a sluggish vehicle getting turned. Right, aim for the chimney. We're aimed at the chimney. Lovely. There we go. Right. Uh, done a little bit of damage to our car, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it'll buff out. Uh, how many cars have we gone? I guess we've probably gone through two already, really. Uh, jump the train. There we go. Through there. I wonder if other bits of scenery... I'm assuming seeing as bits of fence weren't destructible, I assume like other bits of scenery probably won't be. Oh, no, we got eaten by the train. Oh, we got it, though. We actually got the thing that we were supposed to. It counted. That's good enough for me. Uh, where are we going now? Ah, oh, okay, we're heading back this way. Hello. Uh, don't mind me. Uh, okay, we've got to go through here, through here, and then dodge that. Get near to an explodey thing, but don't explode ourselves. Uh, ooh, where are we going now? We're going, oh, we're going through the oncoming traffic. Oh, that was a little bit of a late call. Thanks for, uh, <laughs> for warning me that one. Oh, yeah, we're going, we're going through the swimming pools, almost going through the swimming pools. Uh, a handbrake turn. No, that's a solid, that's a solid fence. That's, that's not one that we could, ah, oh, go car. Come on, more speed, more speed is needed for that bit there. There we go, we're fine. Somehow, somehow we're alive. Oh, exploded petrol station. The petrol station, I don't think it's actually exploded in time for me. I was kind of more concerned. Oh, um, speed, speed. Oh, dear. <laughs> we got splattered by the... Okay. So I can prat around and I can mess things up and I get a little bit of leeway, but on that final stuff, I've really got to be there, basically. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, yeah. That's, uh, I say it's fantastic, it's it's great for silliness, probably wouldn't be great if I was the one driving the car. I, yeah, suspect that, that uh, would be, it would be less, less than ideal, but there we go. Uh, right, so we're going through here. Uh, oh, there we go. Now we've got to try and be, got to try and be quick. I think we can probably get away with the, the train one is, I don't think, going to affect the stuff further down the line. It was when I bumped into that indestructible fence, that's what kind of screwed me up. For that uh, last bit where I've got to get the, the timings and so on all correct. Uh, right, between the trains. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. I've definitely overturned the vehicle there. Ow, that was a painful one. That was a... Uh, can we have... I've got to have a look at the replay of that one. Uh, <laughs> God, imagine this game with um, Beam's level of damage. That would be incredible. Uh, I want a modern stuntman game now. Right, can we... Is there a way to whiz forwards? Um, I don't quite know. I don't, I don't think I can actually skip anything. That's disappointing. Like, I've got no kind of control. Um, okay, well, well, we'll have to see. I'm not quite sure what I did wrong there. I mean, I know it was relatively fine across here. We turned the car. There was no real problem. I didn't bump into anything. Um... I don't know why I was kind of so slow. Here comes the trains, here comes the car, the car's not got it right, and eaten by the train. <laughs> that was fantastically silly. And then we come to rest upside down, as any good accident should be. Right, let's have a... <laughs> let's have another go at this one. It's quite a long, a relatively long sequence. Yeah, I'm slightly bemused as to why I was... Uh, skewered by a train on that one. I thought I'd, I'd had a relatively good, relatively good start. Okay. We will go again. Hopefully, manage to make it through this time. I mean, if we're going to fail, at least go out in the most spectacular of ways, and that is that is what we are doing here. Right, we are through there. Uh, right, we're going for the chimney. We are very well positioned, actually, because then we can. Oh no, don't overcook things too much there with the handbrake. I'd say that landed pretty, pretty smoothly. And now, now I've said that, we're probably going to be miles out of contention. Oh, things got a little wibbly there. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're okay. We're, we're across there. There's a burning shed that has to be uh, has to be taken out. Oh, crap. I think, I'm, I think I've messed this one up here. Maybe? Oh, yes, I've messed that one up big time. Oh, bugger. I didn't see the... 
crap. I just didn't see the lamp post as I went to take off. I was busy aiming. I was trying to aim so that I could get the barrels nicely on the train and not get eaten by the train. But, unfortunately, in doing that, I didn't quite realise the position of the lamp. But that's a really arsy one. Because you can't really afford to get any... If you kind of get any sideways, any trouble through the burning shed bit, you're out of position too much, I think. You've got to be sort of perfectly flat out through that part. I might have to opt to, uh, well, not going for uh, <laughs> for that secondary train bit. That seems to be a little bit on the uh, on the dodgy side. Right, now we've not quite done this as well. This, I fear, may now not be... Oh, come on, car, get going again. Come on, we can, we can do it. You're a muscle car of some sort. I hope uh, it takes a long time. To uh, get up to uh, up to 60. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was millimeters away from that. Right. Okay. So we've not been perfect through there. So I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, oh crap! I thought I was going fast enough. Okay. I wasn't. Uh, that that second uh, hmm, container thing is not good. Right. What I may do is mm, I kind of got to be committed there to clear whatever because I want to get the at least one of them I'm not sure how much of this I can fail and Rolling. still pass the level so we've got to have some commitment uh, to that uh, to that section um, but uh, yeah I, ooh, come on get around there please let that still be the destructible path off the went. it is indeed fantastic hmm okay right we're across there oh we've nearly got rolled off a chimney that's never a good sign I don't think we're gonna make this uh, it's gonna be close <laughs> I think that was it was a little bit wonky oh and okay no you see that down there we were really we were fine I don't get it I don't obviously some slight differences in uh, oh in timings of bits and pieces okay well this one here this one here we're definitely not going to be getting so let's just have a break there and uh, that was more sensible that was much more sensible. Right, now we can uh, smash through here. Oh, that's actually quite a good handbrake turn as well. And I think we're doing pretty well for time. We were close to that. Oh, no, we're going to be too far back, I suspect, for that one there. But never mind. Uh, oh, get around there. Oh, hello, car. Uh, we've not done a very good job of getting through the cars. Never mind. We shall continue nevertheless this way. Uh, <laughs> right. Jump one swimming pool. Stay to the left of this one. Don't fall in the pool. Handbrake turn through there. This is not a, I'll be honest, this is not a particularly, uh, particularly great, uh, run through here. Yes, explosions! Ah, that's where it wanted me to go. I know what I'm doing here. Uh, boot it! Go! Go! We haven't got squashed this time! Thank God for that! Uh, <laughs> now where are we going? Oh, we're going through a billboard, of course, naturally. That's what you've got to be doing here. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying! I am trying to get back onto the road. There we go. Right. I'm accelerating as fast as I can. Now. I think I got the nitro. Woohoo! We are soaring through the air. Oh, and it's a roll to finish and stop. I would claim victory. <laughs> What a finish. That is almost as good as the, the Bond barrel roll, I, I would say there. That was a great landing. I mean, I'm not sure the car's going to work. <laughs> what a... Um, yeah, what a spectacle that one is. Okay, I'm going to have to view the replay on, on this mayhem. I, I got the difficult stuff right. Okay, apart from one bit where I did the, the, the jump to the train bit. I got the difficult stuff right, and then I got the stu I missed the stupid stuff. Like, I didn't accelerate to get close enough to the first of the explosions, and I bumped into a car that was the relatively straightforward gap. Uh, <laughs> Oh well, yeah. I think probably what I'll do with these uh, with these scenes is there. Some of them are going to be quite spectacular, I suspect. I will. Uh, I'll see the replay. See what it. See what it looks like. Uh, you gotta love it. A good. A good replay mode. It was a terrible jump through there. <laughs> the chicken just ran across shots as well. Uh, yeah, it was. It was not a particularly particularly good jump through. It was a bit of a dodgy landing through the train. Though we were fine. Look at that. It was uh, some lovely stuff through there. And then of course the burning building. And then we kind of slightly missed the corner. Yeah, we're not going to go for that one there. That one is. We're just going to have a, just a, a momentary pause, and then we'll do a little bit of a wheelie, just for spectacular, <laughs> spectacular effect. I was actually quite pleased with this. I always worried when you kind of yank the handbrakes in the, <laughs> in this sort of thing that you're going to do something silly and end up spinning the car. Didn't quite uh, work like that, which was good. Things exploded, and we were just a little bit too late. In in typical 
kind of um, oh, and that was that was that was a poor the poor. <laughs> <laughs> Poor crash. Uh, in typical kind of 80s American TV shows, um, no one get hurt. Much like the A-Team, where like millions of things explode, but no one ever gets injured. Everybody always gets up and all runs away out of time. Out just, just in time away from the exploding. Uh, three people by the van when it exploded. And then we got big sideways and then we drive through a petrol station and it's fine and stuff explodes. <laughs> But that was some delayed reaction from those people then. And down come the towers, and we're, to a fact, we were a little bit early, for certainly for spectacles effects anyway. We were a little bit too early. And then naturally, of course, you've got to go for the billboard instead of going... Admittedly, they have kind of a roadblock going on on the, uh, on the bridge. Some interesting bouncy going on as well from the car. And then we've got the big spectacle coming up. I love how twitchy the... Uh, <laughs> the wheels look on the replay as well. Right, and here we go for the nitro. And we just twist ever so slightly in the air and then bang. And well, it landed it. Then we completed it. And then just a bit of reverse because I've held the brake for too long by accident, for good measure. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, that was, um, yeah, a thing. This is for the corkscrew jump we're doing next. It's pretty complex, and, and the computers use NASA technology to work out the speed and trajectory for this. We got a reinforced roll cage in the car for this, and all the weight's been distributed centrally through the car, so I'm completely balanced. The trick here is to get your speed right, and the ramp does the work. Then all you have to do is try to land on the nose, or it's a real bone shaker. Well, speaking of uh, bond stunts, we are essentially doing the uh, the very famous role. I don't know how we're going to judge speed, because there's no speedo on this game, unless this particular kind of level gives you a, gives you a, something to aim for, or whether it's just a boot it and, and this hope. This chase is at speed. The Basco boys trying to settle a score with Heinous, the bootlegger. I'm driving for the Basco boys here. The chase ends with the famous corkscrew jump. First time I've ever done this gig. And then we've got, if we get the corkscrew thing wrong, we'll have to do the whole stunt again. I really hope this is not got a really long run up to that stunt, because that looks like it's probably going to be quite an arsey one. If if I'm having to kind of guesswork the speed, this might be quite a difficult one. Uh, who knows? Who knows what the game might uh, might throw at me? Right. Ah, that's what I was going to say. Where where are we going exactly? But uh, sure. Uh, right, we shall give chase to you. I can, I can do. Hopefully, I can do get close. Okay, yeah, I can, I can deal with roadworks and ooh, that's a big jump. <laughs> I love, I love the way that this car, or both of the, the muscle cars that I've had here, have have, have done um, kind of bouncy wheelies when you land these, uh, land these jumps. I can do getting close. We're, I mean, I've not done a particularly good job of, uh, of driving. Oh, crap. I thought that, for some reason, I um, was expecting that car on the other side of the road. <laughs> Oopsie. Um, yeah, my my bad on uh, on that one. Okay, I fail. I failed at a really stupid part there. So it doesn't look like we're going to have too ridiculous, provided I can pay attention to the traffic and, and where it is. It doesn't look like we're going to have too, too ridiculous... Uh, uh, running stuff, which is uh, which is always nice with these sort of big spectacular spectacular stunts. I mean, in, in reality, essentially, you'd, you'd do the likes of that corkscrew ramp on its own. You know, you wouldn't have to go and film 30, 40 seconds of chase beforehand because, well, that's quite uh, quite difficult. Uh, oh, we're weaving our way through here. Oh, thank you, pick up. Thank you for absolutely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much sticking on the anchors there. Well done. Uh, that was very, very helpful for allowing me to uh, to get ahead of you. Oh, these lovely movie extras are being so kind and uh, and making things easy for me. Uh, what happens if I... Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to get close enough. What happens if I crash into the car ahead? Aha! Uh -huh, you might find out here. Boom. That doesn't do anything to him. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a realistic chase, okay? That, that was an opportunity. Uh, oh, through the... Okay, I can I can do through the fence. Where am I going now, though? Oh, okay, we're going over there. Thank you for giving me the warning there. Uh, oh, well, we're through the fence again. Um, oh, I'm getting close to other cars, okay? Can you just use... Cut to, okay, I wasn't quite close enough to that one there. Oh, things are going a little bit wrong. Oh, Jesus. With the... <laughs> Uh, this is very much a case of you kind of need to run through these a couple of times just so you know where you're going. They're 
most of the time it's all right with, with giving you enough warning, but uh, yeah, sometimes it's kind of you're there and you've kind of got to hope that uh, <laughs> that it works. Kind of interesting if they had like a, a fly through almost at the start, so you had a little bit better idea of, uh, of of where on earth you were going. Right, let's not spend as long on this one. Hopefully, oh, uh, let's not crash into it immediately, as uh, it just ends up damaging damaging my vehicle. To be fair, I don't think I've ever had a a, a stunt on. I don't think I ever have a cool for a stunt. Like even when I was playing many hours of the demo of this way back when. Um, I don't think you'd ever have a time where you break the car, uh, like the actual like the damage indicator up there. You're far more likely to have failed from being too slow or missed too many stunts and so on for that. So there's normally one big crash and that's pretty much you done for on a scene anyway. Like very occasionally you can get away with it, but uh, yeah, I don't, <laughs> don't know why it's... Uh, Really, thing. I guess if you're having a, a really bad time of bumping into things. Oh, now, now we're just going. I'm just going racing. <laughs> I saw it inside, and I wanted to go for an overtake, and then realised what I was supposed to be doing. Right, we're we're avoiding the roadblock by going through here, and then we're going through here. We're going through the tree gap. There we go, and then we're back out here. Oh, that is destructible. Thank you. And then we're going. Then we're going to slalom our way through some traffic and get a big. Big oversteering moment there. Oh, oh, I pressed the wrong button completely. And then we've spun, and now we're probably going to fail, having got to exactly the same point. Oh, no, we're fine. Come back! Look, just, just let off the throttle slightly. Ah. <laughs> That's a really pain in the ass, because it wants you to go the wrong side of the van for the turning. Admittedly, it didn't help, but I pressed like L2 or something, um, expecting it to break the car, because I'm so used to having the left trigger as a brake. I don't know why my brain decided that that was going to be the one to go for, but that was the one that it did decide to, uh, <laughs> to go for. God damn it, we haven't even got to the difficult bit yet. We're, we're, doing, we're on the easy bit and I'm failing. That's not a good sign. I should, I should be okay at this bit, it's just, try, it's just a general car chase with a couple of extra big jumps. Ooh, there we go. Almost rolling the car in, in mid-air for, uh, for good measure. I'm going to stick to this side of the pickup. It makes life so much easier, I say it does. Ah, the pickup just sticks on the anchors every single time down there. Ah, that's okay. We'll bounce off a couple of fences. It uh, <laughs> makes life easier for me with uh, getting turned on some of these. All right, we're taking as uh, much of shortcuts as we can around here. Oh, can we go for it? I don't know if it instantly fails me if I go for an overtake. I kind of want to and then kind of don't want to have to do it all over again uh, for, some, for a stupid failure <laughs> like that one. Oh, hello, pick up. I'll go face first into that. That would not be a good day for anyone. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm going this way. Go through here. Oh, we're across the bumps with some issues. That is a vicious tree. Holy crap. <laughs> that is the most vicious tree I have ever seen. I'm... Wow, I am impressed. I am impressed by the angry tree there. Uh, really, yeah. Rolling. You do not mess with the foliage in the film business. They, <laughs> they will screw your car up. Okay, that was uh, slightly, slightly misplaced driving from me. But uh, hmm. I, I think they've put that uh, air cannon, the one that's supposed to give me an impressive roll that in the last film that kind of just sort of bounced me around. I think they may have accidentally put that in the trees. Uh, <laughs> Because <laughs> that was uh, that's incredibly brutal. Okay, that's another way of, of taking that turn. Again, we're sort of scraping off the odd couple of walls here and there, but uh, we're staying alive. And uh, yeah, now we've just got to wait through this through this next bit. It's a little bit of a, a pain chase this one, and it's kind of a, a long a long period where not a huge amount is happening. And uh, a couple of sort of arsy things is very easy to make just a, a millimetre or two error on. And that sort of screws you over uh, through the fence here. Right, now we are, oh god, we're wheeling again. Through the trees is fine. Through the fence is fine. Right, I am getting close to the pickup truck. Oh, I may have got a bit of oversteer at exactly the wrong moment there for that one there. Oh, we've uh, overshot, but not as much this time. Thank God for that. Uh, <laughs> come back here. I need to be close to you. Uh, oh no, we're fine. Uh, <laughs> I was worried. I was worried then. Uh, where is it wanting me to go? Exactly. Oh. Um. So they've exploded. Well, well, um, I'm not quite sure 
I'm, I'm a little confused by this uh, whole sequence as to what on earth is going on. So we chase down the thing, and now, now that the police that are after us or something, like why are we continuing to run away? Haven't we done what we needed to do here? Ah, yes, it is the police. Oh, and around. Uh, uh, I'm guessing this is it then. Hit the ramp. Go on for the corkscrew roll. Oh, we may have overshot. Hey! Is that it? Yes, we did it! <laughs> A mighty corkscrew roll. Fantastic. Okay, we didn't have to worry about matching speeds. It really wasn't a particular <laughs> particular thing. I guess it was just a case of you hit the ramp with enough speed and the game will be alright with it. A little bit of a bouncy landing. I think we kind of overshot the landing in all honesty because we didn't really land nicely coming down the other side. But, there we go. That was some... Uh, <laughs> hey, we unlocked a new car. Fantastic. And a split ramp for the arena. Okay, let's have a look at uh, at the stunt. Yeah, there's a couple of bits that's a little bit um, cryptic on that one. When the car that I was chasing crashed, that was a bit of a pain in the ass. Just trying to figure out where on earth am I going. Uh, interesting camera angle to, to start with, really, there. Uh, never mind. Let's not worry. Let's not worry uh, about... About that one, I think I've missed uh, a couple of things, and there is a flying muscle car. Look at its saw. That time it's actually a really, relatively good saw. Uh, we're gonna dodge. <laughs> oh, <laughs> may have, may have, I was gonna say we dodge it, we may have bounced off a van ever so slightly, but there we go. It's fine. Fine. We can, we can get away with uh, with all of that. I do quite like the, the this sort of replay stuff. Reminds me a bit of. Um, what was it? Drive, Driver 3? I remember loving Driver 3. Terrible game, but I remember loving it for the, the movie uh, the movie stuff that, uh, that you could do in it, like the, the, the filming. It was actually really quite in-depth filming stuff that was in that was in Driver 3. You could make all of these elaborate car chases or sort of scenes. I don't, don't know if you could have the chases against the AI, AIs and so on. But uh, yeah, this very much reminds me of that kind of stuff. I love <laughs> These are so bouncy and wheelie-inducing uh, wheelie cars. I'm going to go with wheelie-inducing. I'm not sure that that is the correct term, but never mind. Oh, just a fraction too wide. I'm annoyed I was a fraction too wide to miss that one. We do get close enough for the truck, and then it's the <laughs> everything must go sideways around every corner. You can't even see my car. It was hidden behind a pickup truck. That's bad camera work, bad bad positioning, guys. You could do better than that. And then there's a police roadblock. I don't quite know what they do. Oh, they crash into the car. Ah, they crash into the police car. That's why they went to boom. And well, they're the <laughs> yeah, they didn't quite get the, uh, the the planning right on on that stunt. And then we're gonna jump a police roadblock. There we go. That's how that's how you do it. And now we're just uh, like we don't actually see any moving police cars until oh, there's another wheelie until like this, ne <laughs> this next point. But never mind. Don't, don't worry about that. There we go. Now there are some police cars. Then we will turn around. And then we're going for the big one. Going for the most spectacular of the uh, of the stunts. And it's across. Yeah, overshot. But massively. Could have bounced on the landing. That would not be comfortable. However, it is a completion. We did it. Okay. Well, uh... There we go. That was the the first two scenes from the uh, from the next the next film on here. I am going to uh, end this episode here though. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. Uh -huh.